Brendan Mills, CEO of Ripcode. Welcome to a special edition of Ripcode's video blog. Today is a big day for us as it marks the official launch of the Ripcode V4 video transcoding appliance. As I mentioned before, we've been operating in a stealth mode for the past 18 months, but now I can finally share some of the details of what we've been up to. I've told you some about Ripcode in my previous posts, but just to remind you, Using best-in-class DSP technology, the Ripcode V4 appliance transcodes video for internet video operators into multiple viewing formats for PCs, mobile phones, iPods, and many other devices, giving viewers an expansion of content choices while greatly reducing an operator's server, hardware, storage, and energy use. Ripcode supports stream-to-stream -stream and file-to-file -file transcoding a single appliance, but that's not all. The Ripcode V4 is the first to offer true on-demand video transcoding, which dynamically delivers video to any size screen, enabling video viewing ubiquity in real time. So what does that mean? Today, user-generated video sites, broadcasters, and syndicators have to pre-transcode and store multiple file formats of their entire video libraries, which makes sense when you know that popular videos with mass appeal, like the latest episodes of Lost, will be viewed by a large audience. But what about the video that two friends recorded in their basement? Unless that becomes one of the rare big hits, the likelihood that it will be viewed by a mass audience is very small. So does it make good business sense to spend time and resources to pre-transcode all this video on the chance that customers will request it? The Ripcode V4 appliance enables video to be transcoded and served to a customer on demand as they request it eliminating the need for operators to pre-transcode and store multiple copies of every video. It's helpful to think about the impact of on-demand transcoding in terms of the long tail, a phrase coined by Chris Anderson of Wired Magazine. Take a look at this chart. Only a small percentage of all videos on the web are really popular and reach a wide audience. With Ripcode, sites have the flexibility to pre-transcode the most popular videos that they know will be viewed over and over again. However, for the rest of the video library, which constitutes the majority of their content, Ripcode enables video to be transcoded on demand as consumers request it and cached within the V4 transcode appliance. This allows broadcasters, video syndicators, operators, and user-generated video websites to grow their business and add new revenue through cross-marketing video content while giving their customers immediate access to an unlimited library of content choices. This really is a revolutionary new way to address the explosion of video content. And we've already seen an enormous amount of interest, which leads me to my next bit of news. In addition to the official launch of the product, we're proud to announce that MySpace is trialing the Ripcode V4 video transcoding appliance. As you know, MySpace, like many other social networking websites, has seen phenomenal growth in online video. With Ripcode, MySpace can greatly reduce the server hardware, storage capacity, energy usage, data center space, and IT resources required to keep up with transcoding and managing this growing volume of video. This is a great example of how Ripcode can address these challenges while maintaining the speed and video quality the MySpace community expects. In addition to MySpace, we are working with more than 30 trial customers, so stay tuned for more exciting news on this front. We've also invited some of our partners to join us on our video blog, so you'll likely see some of them here on the, on the Ripcode blog soon. Lastly, I encourage you to visit our new website at www.ripcode.com, where you can download a new report from IDC that goes into much greater detail on the future of on-demand video transcoding. I'll discuss this report in upcoming posts. If you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe to the Ripcode blog and join the conversation. We want to hear from you, so feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. Thanks for watching.